Hello and welcome back to our survival let's play on No Man's Land. We're in the middle of June. There's only a couple of things we actually need to do in this in-game day. Um, there's not a massive amount. The first thing that we need to do is we need to find a tractor. Let's use the Fiat. Um, because I noticed at the end of the last video, I don't know, I, I'm not sure if I uh, showed it or not, but the the production for soy and just whack into our uh, water tank there. For the production for soy and oats, it's run out of water, so we're going to have to go and fill that. I say we'll fill that, I won't, I'll just put, I'll put this one tanker in. 7,300 litres and then I'll probably just go and do loads of uh, loads of runs off camera I still need to find a, uh, a mod that gives you free water in fact I might have a look while I'm up here because um, I was going to put a water source up here wasn't I because I mean doing this all the time is an absolute nightmare even though I generally fill it offline so that you don't have to keep watching this but um, it just takes so long uh, the other things we need to do is we need to top up the cows with the TMR so we need to make some of that up um, I can't even remember what mix we're using We we're trying to use mostly here, weren't we? And only maybe 3,000 litres or so of, um, of silage. I mean, something we could do with here, talking about silage, we could make good chunk of money is it in this one yeah we've got nearly 300 litres 300,000 litres sorry of silage so I mean we could go and sell that yeah all my news full again right let's have a look um, is it in productions I don't even know what they're in. What's uh What's the water in? Containers. Ah, here they are. Um See I don't know. Don't know which of these gives free water. I'd have to go and I'll have to test them. I'll have to go onto another map and, um, and find out which ones do. Because I'm not paying for it. There's no way I'm paying for it. If we have to, I'd rather just keep doing the journeys. Right, let's get back on it. Okay, so the tank is back. It's filled up again, ready for next time. Like I said, I'll uh, I'll either do some runs off camera or I'll go on and test the water. But let's get this filled up. I'm sure I'm sure we we're using about six thousand liters of here. Um oh, camera clears and things just my own. Right. So it's just under six thousand there. And we'll fill the rest with silage and hopefully 
quickly turn into TMR. Yes, there we go. So, I mean, there was a little bit of extra space there, wasn't it? But I, I don't want to sort of um, push me up too much. But yeah, around 6,000 litres of here, um, 3,000 litres each of straw and silage. Seems good to me. Doesn't seem bad at all, does it? I mean, have we got. I don't even know if we've got any fields with um, cereal crops in, have we? No, we haven't at the minute. That barley one, ignore, because we harvested that. Um, no. Did we, have we got 60,000 litres of straw in the, uh, in the hair loft, though? I think we might have, so we, we should have enough at the minute. Right, I'll do the silage first, now we know what we're doing with it. I'll only do two, and then we'll, um, we'll move on to something else. I'll have to go and see what state that field's in over the far side, that barley field, I can't remember if, um, a little bit more, here we go, oh yeah, we've got loads of straw there, yeah, I can't remember if we turned that field over or not, I don't think we did, yeah, so it's just down as harvested, so that needs the full works doing to it. I think I'll do some muck spreading on it before we turn it over though. Ah, that's why we didn't turn it over. I'm waiting for a direct drill, Anna. And I haven't looked at that other one yet. Uh, the one that Gary Hayes recommended. Um, so I'll need to go and have a look at that. Right, let's see how much the silage is. That's low, isn't it? It goes to about 190, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't wait. I don't really want to wait, though. That's the, that's the thing. I need some to get some cash in now, really, so we can get what we need. And to be fair, how much does that give us, by the way? Let's have a look on there. Um, sheep are good. Ah, oh, brilliant. We've to 30,000 litres. That, uh, that will do just nicely. Uh, I'm thinking... I was thinking about getting one of the, um, the mini... the mini biogas plants. Uh, the reason I was thinking of that is, I mean, we're selling a lot of silage anyway, obviously. We will also have that slurry to put in. And if we do that, then we're going to get the digester out of it, aren't we? Um, so I was thinking, would it be more beneficial to get our own biogas plant? I mean, I think the cheapest one's something like 55 grand or something like that, and that's, I don't even know if you'd be able to collect um, digest it in that one. Uh, something I've went on there. I need to put a trap through the owner. That's what we've been talking about. I won't do that today, though. Well, certainly not in this game. In, yeah, not in this in, in game, do Oh, 
Oh, this grass will be ready to cut next one as well. I should have turned it over first because it's going to be impossible to see here, isn't it? Just do around the edge. I mean, you can see you're going down here. I've noticed that on um, 22. Sometimes it's the same when you're weeding as well. You'll go one direction and you'll be able to see the weeds perfectly. Then you'll go back down the field the other way and it's like they disappear. It's doing the same with the manure here. You can't see it as you're putting it down, but then you look at there and then look, you can see that. Yeah, get closer to it and it goes. Right. Um, let's fill up we're full again um, I've just remembered the sheep we went and got um, another 24 more after we finished recording so we did 2 more runs um, so we've now got 36 sheep I actually thought I'd be got for um, 48. I thought we did a, an extra run than what we did. Unless I've left them in the uh, in the transport trailer, but I don't think I have. So 36. I think we can get um, 60 in there. So we'll just we'll reproduce our own. Like I said, I've got them for all. I haven't got them to uh, to sell off. I mean, the only thing I could do, I suppose, would be buy another um, pasture. And then move the new ones into there, possibly, or half, the, half them anyway. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like with this, I mean, you look at um, you look at these fields here, and you can tell the sort of I know this will sound weird, but you can tell the sort of man-made on you. These are more like like fields off a giant's map because they're just like perfect rectangles or squares. Or I always think with um, with giant's maps, they all you're always very clean on um, you don't normally get fences and bushes and uh, I don't know just the random bits you see around the countryside you're just always very bright very clean um, whereas you look at a lot of maps by modders and I love this by the way but you'll see all like the random bits, just random machinery abandoned at the side of the road or um, the fields are like all different odd shapes and you can definitely tell a giant's map to a, a modder's map here and then some right on the edge didn't take that much actually I'll probably go up there once more I 
thought it might took a little bit longer than that. Right, let's go down the hill. Be a little bit easier. Excellent. Pretty much all done. I think we are now, are we? There we go. Right. Do I? Did we see this field out? Yes. I was looking at some <laughs> I wasn't just randomly looking at uh not being able to see that we've got corn in it. I was actually looking at something else while, while I went and stood on it. So we've got corn in there, that's going to need weeding in the next in-game month. Um, we're going to have to have a look at direct drills. It's going to need weed, in fact it's going to need weeding and it's going to need another application of the planet. I am going to rest now, I think. Uh, park this over. Yeah. And let's then go and rest and we'll see what the state of play is after we've rested. I'm wanting that uh, stylish to start going up as well, the price of that. I know the last sort of couple of... We've changed it to two day weeks. Uh, two day months, I keep saying weeks. Two day months. Um, and we haven't. I don't think we've done a great deal in the second day, but that will come. I think the only reason we're not doing a great deal at the minute is because we've got crops in the ground that take that little bit longer to grow. Crops like sunflowers and canola, soybean. Um, let's go and have a look at the cotton. Yeah, we need. To, oh, I didn't roll it, did I? What an absolute dial. Well, that's a shame. Grass is ready as well, isn't it? So that needs cutting. Let's have a look at the animals. So they've used, well, they used about two and a half thousand litres. And they're fine as well. And then all the eggs from them, they're not due to sell, they're not at the top price until about November. Um, productions, let's have a look at them. So nearly 350,000 worth of um, silage, there will be soon anyway. Uh, no. They are water again, oh my god, that uses so much water, it's unbelievable. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off, I'm going to test some water points um, I'm going to have a look at the direct drills and then we will come back to this in-game day I've had a look there's some um, some water pumps stroke stand pipes that we can get water from for free so we're going to um, we're going gonna to go up and get one of them put down I think so we won't fill it now. We won't fill the production now, but we'll uh, we'll certainly spend the money to add the placeable. What I might do, the very last thing we do before we go off, um, I might 
cut one of the f oh, say one of the fields yeah I might just cut one of the fields uh, weeds right so they need weeding I could do that couldn't I should I weed first do you know what I've just got this feeling that I might have missed the boat on um, the medium weeds on that canola field I'm sure it's canola isn't it that we put in the last field I'll show you which one. It sent me that. Uh, this one here. It's a canola. Ah, brilliant. Ah, right. That's good. I was the one further up. That hasn't been seeded yet, has it? Right. We're all right then. We can just do this one. Right. So that's filled. I want to put a, I want to put this sort of close by, but I don't want to. I don't want to plunk it right in the middle somewhere and take up loads of space that I could use for something else. Um, what I could do is put. I know what I'm going to do. I know what I could do. Right, let's 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 let's. Have a look. I'm sure it's under containers. What on earth is that? Tea tank. Right. right, these are the ones that you get free water from. So big water pump, six hundred pound. We will have that. Um, if we put it here. Then what I'll do, I know it looks a bit of a mess there now. Um, is it this side or is it the other side? I won't get it from this side. Right. <coughs> it's a bit of a mess now, but I think to our left I'll put a bit of a track. I say a bit of a track. I'll make a road going through there so it sort of neatens it up a bit. And then I'll do the same round the front. Um, Just so it doesn't look like it's plonked in the middle of some grass but there you can see we we get our water I mean it's slow it's really slow but it's one of them things in it uh, let's go to productions you should run out of water so quickly it's unbelievable Are we out of canola yet? No, but we haven't got much left. Um, we're going to have loads of silage to sell. And I'm about to put loads more in it as well. Not in this episode, but certainly in the next one there's going to be... Well, double what's in there now. We're going to be redoing it. Yeah, it wasn't that screen I wanted. It's this one. So we've got some canola to bring up. We'll have to do that. But again, that won't be today. Right, what I'm going to do, I think we get the point. It's free water. Let's... Put that in there. We'll get it emptied. It's obviously emptying a lot quicker than what it was... Um, than what it's filling. And we'll get back down to the farm. I'll probably use the other tractor and I'll decide whether we're going to do... We'll either cut the grass fields... In the unfinished episode, I will do the weeding. In finished episodes, I will decide shortly. Okay, so I've decided to do the grass work. I say the grass work. We uh, all we're going to do is cut, and then that's going to be the video, I think, because I think we have a chance to actually make this one under 30 minutes, which would be a nice change, really, wouldn't it? Lord, I got switched on. Get going. Because what I think I'll do is I'll, we won't get going at six miles an hour. Let's get going a bit faster than that. There we go. Um, what I think we'll do is in the next episode we will.
got this road, we'll get it picked up, and then we'll get the weaving done, and we need to turn that field goal straight ahead, ahead of us as well, and either side of what we're going to put in that. I mean, how many oats have we made? What oats have we got? Put oats in. Soybean, are we out with soybean now? Yeah, we're out with soybean. I know I've only got one field of soybean growing at the minute. So soybean could be an option. What else we got? Um, we've got loads of barley, however we are looking at getting production for barley army. Oh, we started getting, we started getting wool, I didn't realise we would, I thought. I didn't think we'd get wool until um, there were adults. That is an absolute bonus. I wonder if we get more when the uh, when we become adults. You'd, you'd think so, wouldn't you? I know obviously the breed, but um, we haven't got them for that, we've got them for producing wood. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's not bad at all, I'll have to... Um, I'll have to see when the wool price is high. I can say that, I don't know. We've only got we've only got 36 and if they don't produce as much when the lambs then we're probably not gonna have much to sell anyway really. I mean it's not something I'm looking to do now, but um, given how much money you can make off clothing we did on calves and we it was like at its height it was about 32 grams wasn't it per thousand litres it was some of that like that um, then that might be an idea I told you didn't mean to do that I was uh, <laughs> forgetting we had a mower in the front and back I turned the mower off and then didn't realise that the front one was still going I mean, I think just by doing this, it sort of it breaks it up a bit, doesn't it? So we're not doing the same, the same sort of job in the next one. We will be doing grass work, but we'll be doing it won't all be grass work. I forgot all about plant farm as well. Oh, we were talking about clothing, were we? Yeah, so it's not something I'm able to do now because we haven't got the money. But I would like to think, as we progress, we're possibly going to be able to do cotton on this series. Uh, it's something that we didn't do on Palmston, would have been a UK map. Um, we did actually, if you remember, although for those years that, um, that watched this particular series, but our Elm Creek series, we were just going big, weren't we, into cotton. We planted loads of it um, with the idea of doing clothing. I can't remember, I don't think we did. I don't think we put sh um, sheep in, but that was something we were looking at doing as well. Uh, but then I ended the series because it was like, there was other maps coming out, I think this map came out. And uh, I think we just, we'd used sort of Elm Creek for what we needed it for, I think, um, which was sort of a bit of a get used to the controls and um, how the game plays. 
it's I've never been back on it like when we first when we first stopped playing it I might have gone on just I don't know I can't even remember the problem is I think I said I might have carried on playing it in my own time the issue is it's all my own time it's all my own time the issue is I tend I have that much to do on this and when Palmson was born and Palmson as well that even when I'm not recording I'm still setting stuff up for these maps so I don't think keeping I don't have a game anymore that or a map that I don't record on everything just gets um, everything gets recorded now it, I only have No Man's Land that I'm playing on at the minute uh, I don't play Pants anymore, I've stopped because I've stopped recording on it. Don't play Am Creek, don't play Oop Bellaron. Um, it's still there, but I don't think I'll ever go back to them. And that's going to be even more um, compounded when Atom Impa comes out and I'm doing role play again that doesn't take so much time I might just put the press on one field and then we will we should be able to keep it in under half an hour for the first time how long we've been recording now yeah we should do it for the first time in a long time But yeah, once that game comes out, I mean, I could do a 15 to 20 minute video on Attingham and it might have spent, I might have spent sort of two hours setting that video up. Or I might be back, I record, say, I record a bit what would be on the morning of whatever in game day it is, and then I have to do loads in the middle get ready to record on maybe in the afternoon or in that Indian afternoon or on the evening depending on what's happened in the story at the minute at that time um, so yeah there's like hours worth of sort of playing the game in between that I'm not recording but it's just simply to keep the storyline going love a new mode set up now. I think we're pretty much ready for one. It's, I mean, we're not going to buy one, not yet. There's so many other things I've probably mentioned on this video. Um, so many other things that we want to spend our money on. The, the uh, grain mill, we want, we want a new tractor, we need the um, Cedar, which is probably going to be one of the direct drills. Um, what else? There's absolutely tons, isn't it? I mean, we can't have everything at once, obviously. I'm just thinking that field on the left it's just sort of come to us now that's the one where I thought it had weeds in that won't have weeds in will it because this is the first crop after it being ploughed so that isn't going to happen anyway which is a bonus we could do the next episode selling that silage up as well because um, until we get the money apart, we're not going to have the money for our direct drill. And I don't want to be... Well, there's two things I don't want to be doing. I don't want to be using our 3 metre three meter 
um, drilling and that. But I also don't want to be missing out on um, revenue. The only thing I could do really is put a crop in with the planter instead. So corn, sunflowers, um, we have the capacity to do to do um, sugar beet yet, like or oh, cotton. So it would be either it would be either be corn or sunflowers. What I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on, I'm going to go into that next field um, and I'm going to start getting the crosswork done in there. I'll end the video here. When you come back I'll probably have done, well I say when you come back, when we start the next episode I will probably have done some of this field already and we'll come back for sort of a bit of it and then we'll go into the wind drone and um, using the forage wagon and then we need to do the weed and We've got to continue to. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.